are doing rocket science, but it's uh, uh, about uh, diligence and teamwork uh, for trying to complete the project successfully. And uh, for that, we have the library part uh, where we were, uh, we were held taking uh, weekly discussions and reports about the projects. Uh, each student uh, uh, was re uh, reporting the amount of work that he did for the uh, projects and uh, trying to come up with the plan for the next upcom uh, upcoming weeks. So uh, uh, the next important part of my trip was uh, to get some comments uh, from the doctor Rodriguez, from Dr. Rodriguez uh, for our prototypes because there were many uh, uh, small uh, nuances that we couldn't uh, understand as we don't have medical experience. So for example, uh, uh, large modifications to the handle, uh, Satis uh, Zetina will present about the so modifications we did. Shortly, just emphasizing that uh, this comment came from a, a surgical uh, practitioner and they are very important, uh, very important details. Uh, for example, first one that this uh, there should be some slanted cut that uh, would uh, repeat the profile or, uh, of the bone. Uh, you can see that here this part is removed. Uh, another comment that uh, was done that there should be some rounded end here that was all, all also done and then uh, uh, this is this comes from my experience as a mechanical engineer in the field of machine tool design I I, I uh, here I uh, defined a very um, uh, close fits uh, actually here the comment was that they don't fit close fit, then they, they need a loser fit, fit, which is better, which is uh, less expensive from production point of view. Then, uh, as Ara mentioned, they use x-rays during the uh, surgery, and the comment or suggestion was to make this uh, part from uh, that part from uh, radio lucent material so that uh, during the surgery it allows to see uh, inside inside the uh, leg uh, so this is not actual because uh, we are just now are concentrated on the nails themselves uh, okay and then uh, uh, as Ara described there should be a special hammer both for in inserting the nail and removing the nail when unfortunately there are cases that uh, they need to do it. Uh, it, it can, should be designed also. Uh, uh, the, the important thing is to compare as we all said and we compare the original part, synthesis uh, model, with our part uh, through uh, uh, finite element analysis. So this is the model of, of the finite element analysis. We hold the uh, bone. You see it is a bit transparent. You can see the, the nail and the screw, proximal screw within the bone. We hold the bone system from this part and we apply force uh, from the tip of the heel. And we see how uh, it behaves. And we can see them separately. But, uh, so this is the picture, the uh, field, stress field in the bone, and this is the stress field in the, uh, 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 in the nail and uh, screw. Uh, of course, here the models are simplified because that, uh, it will take a lot of uh, memory from computer to, uh, okay, and uh, this is, uh, underway, uh, we compare the models. Uh, one uh, important aspect of comparison uh, is related to uh, so-called uh, stress shield. Uh, the point is that the nail should be should not be too strong. 
to take the complete lot on itself. Something should be left also to bond, uh, not to, uh, not for the bond not to degrade. And now that uh, uh, this comparison is, this uh, red one is uh, synthesis, dependence of the stress over bond from stress over nail. This is this relation. And this, is, this blue one is ours. So we see that they are close, but this is still underway. Uh, uh, and as a conclusion, a couple words of uh, conclusion, the first thing I want to mention that this is a nice experience of uh, long-term collaboration. Uh, I, I should say that uh, the, some, some kind of, we found some kind of uh, fertile uh, ground because the uh, problem is a real problem, uh, because uh, it's a very important problem for us and because there are uh, mutual willingness to, to do this problem, uh, to complete it uh, successfully. Uh, the next important thing that we have a good feeling, I, I, I cannot say still confidence, uh, but it is a good feeling that uh, the uh, local production of this product is possible. Uh, why not confidence yet? Because the real production should differ uh, significantly from the production that have in our region. Uh, a real production uh, for uh, consumers, for patients. Uh, so many things are done, uh, but uh, much more uh, still uh, should be done. And uh, many things are done within, as I said, these walls. Uh, but uh, the project, if we to achieve the goal and the objectives, should have to go outside these walls. A uh, lot of things to be done. And first of all, uh, the weakest component uh, in this project is uh, the business component. Without market analysis, without uh, the uh, business plan, uh, uh, I don't know, we will not succeed. So that's it. Uh, if you have questions, then we will be happy to them. Questions or comments? <coughs> yes, yes. Uh, I have a question. Okay. Uh, I have two questions. Um, one of them concerns uh, have you done any corrosion tests on the materials used or is it just on literature? Uh, my second question uh, is: I am aware that there are some materials which, uh, which uh, may cause. Um, I'm not sure if it's the correct term, allergic reactions or that type of uh, reactions with some patients. Are there any guidelines to allow you to select which materials can be used, which couldn't be used, or that? Uh, so that's all. Uh, this is a well-known uh, grade uh, of titanium that is used in uh, medical applications and particularly in this kind of implantation. Uh, so uh, uh, maybe uh, so maybe Ara will give a more competent uh, answer to this question. Uh, so as a part of the first, um, as we follow the ASTM guidelines, ASTM specifies what kind of materials you can and cannot use in uh, in testing. And these materials are sort of uh, manufactured and tested in those standards by uh, by the companies that but that basically uh, develop them. So the titanium that we used here is a medical grade titanium. And also the, uh, if we were to use stainless steel, uh, what we do is also a medical grade uh, titanium uh, that uh, basically uh, is applied, uh, is gone through rigorous testing. So these are materials that are uh, that have been tested. They are materials that are used uh, for uh, orthopedic implants, and these are materials that have shown little uh, biologic activity uh, in the human body. So uh, these are. Uh, this is something that, you know, the bridge has been crossed, so to speak, and we don't have to worry about. Thank you. 
In terms of uh, uh, biocompatibility, uh, this is better than stainless steel. The, uh, it, it is also used in uh, these applications, but uh, in terms of biocompatibility, this is better. Yes. Um, what prevents you from using uh, the, the student um, in doing uh, student from our business school in doing the market research and the business support? I think we have capability here that we can train students. Uh, to do the market, re not just do the market research and beyond, um, that can add value to your project. Thank you. So I applied uh, two times to them with uh, the uh, with a request to uh, uh, be involved in the project, but. Uh, in the research as uh, in uh, format of capstone project, but unfortunately there is no response from them. I'm very sorry, I, I, you should have come to me. I don't know why they said no. So this is a reality. <laughs> well, we can talk. Yeah, thank you. So, so maybe, uh, sorry, you, so maybe I don't, you're, I don't need the microphone, but can you make any comments about sort of EPIC and maybe next steps? Is there any interest or, uh, I don't, I'm not, I mean, EPIC is a, it's a, it's a, not a, not a group of people per se, but I mean, do you as a project manager foresee uh, kind of the, the gradual or quick motion towards EPIC? This part is, uh, machined on the exactly same machine tool that we have in our lab. Mm -hmm. But since there is no uh, someone who can